I'm going to show you how to overhaul a front wheel hub from a bike. First start off by taking off the skewer. Screw it back together because you don't want to lose the spring. Put it aside. Okay. First thing you want to notice is both sides are symmetrical. So uh, look at how how much of the axle is sticking out from the lock nut. Should be about the same on both sides. You're gonna to want to remember that when you put it back together. Okay, so first um, I have cone wrenches, and let me see, that's the wrong size. Thirteen. Okay, cone wrenches are real helpful for doing these hubs because they're very thin. Uh, regular size crescent wrenches just won't fit into the, the little slots on the cones in here. So the cone wrenches are definitely very useful for doing these hubs. So get the cone wrench onto the, the cone and then get a crescent wrench and you're going to loosen the lock nut. So once you get that, just pull the lock nut off. Put it aside. Now from then you can go ahead and remove the cone. And it's easier if you go ahead and just turn the, the other side with the lock nut still on there. It's a little easier. Okay, once you got the cone removed, pull the axle out, and so now we have the cone and the lock nut on the other side. So go ahead, put the cone wrench on there, the lock, the press wrench on the lock nut, loosen the lock nut, then go ahead and pull both the lock nut and the cone off the axle. Okay. Okay, once you've got the lock nut and the cone removed, go ahead, I've got a can here with some paint thinner in there, odor-free paint thinner, makes it a little bit nicer to work with. Go ahead, stick those parts in there. We'll get all the old grease and dirt off of those. Okay, now we're gonna take the wheel. On each side, there's a little dust cap. So just carefully with a small screwdriver, just pry that off and we'll throw that in there too. And, well, we pull the other side off, doesn't matter. There. Throw that in there. Now we're going to go ahead, take the bearings out. They're small little bearings. all the bearings. Move the bearings from the other side. Okay, now once, I, once you have all the bearings removed, just take a piece of paper towel, get a little bit of the paint thinner, and go ahead and wipe out the hub. And remove all the old grease and dirt out of there. And go both sides. And throw the side and grab another piece of paper towel. And we'll just wipe it out. Now go ahead and examine the, the races in there where the bearings sit for any cracks or damage on both sides. And they both look really good. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stick this to the side. Pull out the parts out of paint thinner, wipe them off, get them all nice and clean.
Okay, so that's all nice and clean. Okay, we're going to start off. We'll prepare the axle here. Put the first cone on. And you need to do it, if you notice, like, you got the little part where the bearings sit. Go ahead, that goes to the inside. So you screw that on. Screw it way on. And then take the lock nut. We're going to screw the lock nut on and leave just a little bit of the axle sticking out. That's why I said at the very beginning, notice how much of the axle is sticking out to begin with. And so leave that much axle sticking out and then turn the cone back into the lock nut. Put the cone wrench on there and then go ahead and tighten the lock nut into the cone. Okay, so now we got that set. So, after that, I got that done, I'm going to go ahead and put some grease in there. So, I've got a uh, Molly Graph, multi purpose grease. You want to use decent quality grease. Go ahead and just put a big glob of grease around in there and get all around the races. This will hold the bear bearings in place. So, now I have some brand new bearings I just bought at the bike shop. Brand new bearings are real cheap. The old bearings, might look good, but they might have slight wear around them to where they're sort of egg-shaped, very slightly egg-shaped, uh, as opposed to be perfectly round. Uh, so you just go buy new bearings. Um, they come in different sizes, so you can take some old your old bearings to the bike shop. They can measure them and give you new bearings the size you need. Um, on the front hub here, it's, there's 10 bearings that go around on each side. The bearings cost about a nickel a piece. So, for a brand new set of bearings, it's a dollar. Not even worth messing around if you're only going to be spending a dollar. So go buy new bearings. So, as you get the, the bearings, just press them into the grease around, around the race. When you've got them all in place, they'll form a nice continuous ring of bearings all around there. Nice, all nice together. So now once you've got the, all the bearings in, just take the dust cap, get into place, and just gently tap it around the edges to tap it into place. Now, go ahead and work on the other side. Just do the exact same thing. Again, forms a nice continuous circle around there. Take the dust cap. Okay, once we got all that done, just take the axle with the with the one cone already attached, just slide it through. Bring the other side, screw the cone in with the, uh, the race towards the inside, and again, it's going to be easier to screw from the side that's got the lock nut already on it. Just turn that. Turn it till the uh, the cone gently touches the bearings. 
now go ahead and take the lock nut. I'll screw that on the place loosely. Okay, what you want is to be able to turn the, uh, the axle so it turns smoothly, no binding, and you want to be able to move it around so that there's no play. So this is moving really nicely and there's no play in there. So now, take a cone wrench, put it onto the cone, and we're going to tighten the lock nut towards the cone. Okay, again, double check, make sure it moves nice and smoothly. Move it around, make sure that there's no play, there's no like little uh, clicking kind of wiggles in there. So that feels nice and good. So at that point, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tighten up just a little bit more. Again, double check. Moves smoothly, no play. And all I have to do, put the skewer back on, and I'm done.